Oh dear god. Hi. Alrighty. Hello and welcome to the channel. And for today's video, we are checking out a update that came to Hunting Sim 2. Now, right off the bat, uh, I'll go through the actual notes here in just a second. But one of the things was a different lighting scheme. And I honestly, I, I can't tell, is it that they changed the time of day or something? Because, hang on a second. So I'm still running flat out on everything except motion blur. I seem to have my weird random frame stutter back. That's interesting. Personally, I don't like it. It's probably, I don't know why they would change it. I'm guessing maybe some people were complaining about not being able to see the animals properly because it was really dependent on exterior lighting coming in. But to me, it just seems like they kind of up the ambient glow. Uh, now, this is a cool new feature. Okay, so let, 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 let me bring up the notes. Okay, Major Patch and Legendary Animals. Hello Hunters, we've got an exciting update for Hunting Simulator 2 to tell you about today. We know you've been waiting, and during these difficult times we thank you for your patience regarding certain issues with the game. The team have been working flat out to bring you improvements, as well as more content and graphical updates. For the expert hunter, there's even something new to find. More about that shortly, but first, our patch notes. Graphical, uh, improved tree shading, improved tree textures for some trees, improved lighting scenarios for all levels. So I'm guessing that means they use some form of baked in uh, global illumination system. Uh, so I'm gonna be very curious. I haven't hopped into a map yet, so it'll be interesting. And then new lighting for the walkable lodge menu, weapon room, bedroom, store menu. Um, all binoculars are now able to spot animals. Honestly, I didn't know you could spot with any of them. I've always just used a rifle scope. When claiming an animal, you can now view a comparison with your trophy. A pop-up will also appear when selecting keep as trophy to prevent accidental replacement. That is good. That is listening to the community. That is something I know most of the people who have been doing this have had to have a spread. I have to have a spreadsheet. So that is that is very handy to be able to compare it with what you already have and to, well, and I, I have fat fingered collected an animal before. So that extra little step there is going to be nice. Added ability to view trophy statistics inside the hunter lodge. Good. Only animals you've hunted and selected as trophies after the patch. Bad. So the, the kind of sucky part about that is that means that if you've already filled your lodge, you got to do it again now. If you want to be able to view the statistics or stick with using a spreadsheet. I'm going to check that out here in a second. Added legendary animals to the game. Iron sights now properly play their animation. Honestly, I don't have a clue what that means. Corrected size of grizzly bears. Collected trophies will automatically display the corrected size. So I'm guessing that bear to my right is supposed to be bigger. You can now switch targeted animal faster. I'm assuming that has something to do with the spotting system. Improved weapon vibrations. I'm going to say that's console only. I play with mouse and keyboard and last I checked, neither of those vibrate. Although that would be an interesting feature. Yeah, you know what? Maybe the grizzly bear is bigger. Oh, well, this doesn't make sense. Okay, no, here's all his information. Now, he still shows to only be 392 pounds, which is a tiny, tiny grizzly bear, but that's, uh, that's incredible. Wait, so I thought it said it only... Okay, how I can't jump, so how do I see the duck? I can't seem to see the duck, but now you can actually... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, is it... Ah, wait, 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 there it was. Record of trophy. Unfortunately, you may need to hunt this animal again. But that... See, that's confusing. So some of the animals, even though they said it won't work, do still apparently work. That's kind of cool. So yeah, like now the next thing they need to work on is this. That's a 451 pound bear, right? That's a 392 pound bear. That's a thousand pound bear. This bear weighs more than twice what that bear does, if you say so. Yeah, so that's kind of fancy. I am, I am experiencing that frame stutters back. That's, that's wonderful. All right, let me, uh, not only is that frame stutter back, I, I probably had to crop the video because only now am I back in game capture mode. Huh, smooth. All right, so let me pop out, see if I can screw the V-Sync real quick and hopefully I can fix this. I, I don't understand this game sometime. Okay, so now I'm running 276 FPS. Jesus, well that's, 
actually quite an improvement. Uh, I don't have V-Sync on. I need to turn V-Sync back on. All right, I got the 9.3, the 12 gauge. What else did I do I have here? Uh, he here's the thing. I actually, this, this isn't being streamed like I normally do. And I have every intention of, I actually need to go and do a stream. So uh, I'm going to, I'm not looking for a big hunt. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna head over to Bandera region. Why not? Uh, let's see what we can find here. All right, uh, right off the bat, it would appear that uh, graphical performance actually has improved quite a bit. The lighting actually seems worse, or maybe that just, that might be me just perceiving it that way after playing Call of the Wild. Um, so legendary animals, is that actually in the game? Because they say they've added them, but what, is it, what does that mean? That's interesting. Why does it keep making it sound like I'm okay? I guess the name of the game is just to find something. You're not going to be real, really be able to tell. But the main issue I had graphically was there's... No, uh, it's still doing it. There's a motion blur effect that's being applied. And I, and I can see this motion blur. I get it in my recordings. But motion blur is off. Because if you're trying to look through the trees for something behind it, uh, it gets obscured, especially in some place like the Roosevelt Forest. The motion blur is really bad there. Hey, actually, I don't know if this speaks to all of them, but that does look like a new texture. I wonder if they actually updated this uh, or not. Because some of the stands you get into and it's like it's very, very low res. Um, some of the motion blur is gone, though. I'm not getting that motion blur from moving my binos around. Uh, I did just hear a deer to my left. Not a lot of good that does. It's it's up there. Oh, right up there. Hey, look at that. Spotted with my binos. Now I gotta try and get a shot on this bugger. He sound. Oh, wait. Is that him right there? I have the foggiest idea if that's the same one. Oh, yeah, that's him. Oh, and he's down up there, too. Hopefully I landed one of those. Hopefully I can get up here. It's not bad looking. An adult. All right, let's pop into here. Got to make all the noise in the world. All right, so if I do this, so this is, wait, ooh, that's, Okay, so this is the one I have in there. A 75, 78, 82, 78. So this one that I just picked up is actually bigger. And I now know this because I can do this little comparison thing. So yellow text is your current one. Gray text is the old one. Uh, and then here it says hide comparison, compare with previous. Uh, and this one's younger, but bigger. So I'm still gonna sell it. What happens if I hit sell here? I have no idea. Nope, it kept my old one. All right, cool. That's that's how that works. So now the only thing that the my my personal thing that's just me. I, obviously, I class the animals like I accomplish getting a good trophy if they were matures. But they're once once you've gone to the cabin, they no longer display that. So that would be kind of nice if we could still see what it was classed as or give us some kind of reference in here that says, hey, this species, this age range is classified as young, is classified as adult, is classified as uh, uh, mature. So now I've read a couple people saying online and I agree, we need a way to be able to kind of like top off our tags. I mean, that's not the way tags work. <laughs> you, the, the, the problem is, is it's that mixture of realism versus video game. In real life, when you buy your, when you get your license, you have tags for a season. So you're not gonna refill for the season you have a limit for the season and then you're waiting until next season to refill those you either fill all your tags that season or you don't and then you're going with the new tag set for the following season depending on the species depending on where you live uh it varies but so that they try to mimic that here where you're going to either fill it or not but then that there's no seasons here you're not going to have a hunting season here so we should have the ability to kind of top them off you know uh, uh what do you call it a uh prorated price don't think there were any new weapons or anything. So really, it's just the legendary animals. The legendary animals still has me curious. 
the the problem is is that in hunting sim one the legendary animals were not technically different they were aesthetically different they had a background but as far as personality went how you hunted them they weren't different from the regular animals you hunted them the same way as just now you had one specific animal you were going for and i'm very curious how they implemented it here now unfortunately i have very limited time to make this particular video and honestly unless i were to scan right now and see the bugger i i don't have the time to try and hunt that uh, honestly i don't know about the lighting i swear that looks because this is morning time slot it, it might be just me not remembering correctly what the game looked like before. I probably should have watched one of my own videos first. <laughs> but let's see if I can spot something like, what what makes him legendary? Uh, okay. So let's see, that's cool. Because now I can identify these animals way off yonder. Because honestly, from here, I couldn't tell you those are white tail, but there are two different colors there. So I'm very curious. Let's just pop to this tent. And they were this way. Let's see if I can spot them again. Is that them? Oh, yeah, I hear two. Oh, wrong one. Oh, right down here. Look at the, what is that? See, that has like a tiny white tail rack. That has something completely different. Got them both. Usually, when it comes to the bigger game like this, I only ever see two to four of the same species at the same time. So that that's why I'm so curious as to how this is supposed to work. So like, look at that, that is a, that is a straight up spike. Just two spikes. That's a young male, nothing fancy about it. Okay, <laughs> that's just some of the tiniest animals I've seen. Young male, interesting. Okay, so again, back to the cabin. Oh, you automatically put what's in your hands away when you come in here. That's why it's making that sound. Okay. Uh, so here, I can't compare to my existing trophy because the information's missing. Now, I know neither of these are as big, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. So I'm just gonna sell them both. But you know what? Yeah, so there's, I guess when more information comes out, honestly, I don't know, legendary hunt? Only if the animal has any more, has something special about it. And I don't mean aesthetics, and I don't mean a background, I mean characteristically. If the animal is more difficult to hunt than the normal version of itself, then that then that makes sense. Then that's something. It, part of me honestly suspects I that I just look around. I don't know. Is this supposed to be like a mission system? I don't, like, what happens if I hop back to the old trusty bison spot? Oh, dear God. Hi. Well, there's a nice elk. How you doing, bud? Having a bad day? No, I want to... There we go. There's a... There's a mature elk. Another one ran off this way. Not a clue. I, I have a problem with bison. So in all reality, I mean, what? That was two whitetail and an elk, and it's been 40 minutes. Like, the entirety of this recording from start to now has been 40 minutes. I already have two whitetail and an elk. And, I don't know, I, I blasted that bison a bit. Doubt I did anything to him. Now, it's kind of cool you can spot with the binos. The one thing I would say, though, is this makes the game easier. Because now you have that same effect you get in Call of the Wild where you can scan over a tree line at range and wait for the little E to spot to pop up in that game. And when you do that, you know you're looking at an animal. Whether or not you can actually see it. Same concept. Ah, oh, dang, bison stopped. Alright, well, at least Annie's down. So I did hit him one of the first times. That's good to know. Got him. Ooh, a mature. <laughs> Another mature. So now, is this a bigger mature? I... There's a deer right there. All right, so let's see. It was left shift. So the elk I just picked up, although being a mature, is smaller. So we'll sell him. And the bison I just picked up is smaller, despite being older. So we'll sell him. All right, that feature seems to work. 
I actually had someone message me and go, hey, they came out with a patch that had uh, new content. Yeah, the legendary animals, I see that. Um, since there is no information on that, I don't see how that helps. There's nothing in the achievement globe. There's nothing in the wiki. I don't follow their social media. I don't see anything in the store. There's nothing at the cabin. So I, I don't I don't know if it's what it is. And I, at this point in time, I am not entertained enough by the hunting process to go out there and just randomly hunt without having a little bit of guidance. Like, is it one animal per map? You know, just whose process are they following? Are they mimicking what they did in Hunting Sim 1? Or are they mimicking Call of the Wild? Is it a percentage chance of individual... Like, can I get a legendary of any of these? Or are they doing, you know, they're, they're more... They got a backstory and they're aesthetically different. But other than that, yeah, that's quality of life stuff. The trophy thing, awesome. Really really needed that now we can tell what the heck we have hanging on our walls that's fancy you're still limited to one trophy but at least now you know what you have and you have a way of making sure you're not you know accidentally replacing a smaller one or selling a bigger one when you have uh when you're at the cabin it does mean unfortunately you have to go and hunt re-hunt and replace a bunch if you want that feature and then the lighting I said uh, last time, that's personal preference. I don't like it. The, the the extra ambient light. I don't know. It's like someone put 100 watt bulbs in these things. It's very, very bright. All right. So that being said, that does it for this one. That's that's the update. That's all. That's all she wrote. Let me double check. I, I still don't get the iron size and I don't get the fixed size of the grizzly bears. I, does that mean I have to re-hunt this guy? 392 pound mature bear. Because now if you ask me, that looks bigger than this here brown bear that's supposedly a thousand pounds. For a black bear, that seems about right. All right, that looks about right for a 500 pound black bear. They're doing what they can. They're making improvements, baby steps. I'll keep my eye on it. But for now, I gotta get back to New Zealand. So if you have any interest in helping support the channel, there's links in the description down below. There are buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push. Until next time.